Have you ever wondered why we eat certain foods and shy away from others? That sweet candy tastes great, but that bitter chocolate is hard to swallow. There's actually a biological reason why certain foods taste good. What's more, the biotech industry is using the biology of taste to create healthier foods and expand the array of available medicines. Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan, and welcome to BioBites. Tasting is a complex sense that begins with the taste receptors on our tongues and ends with our brains telling us that a substance either tastes good or bad. Our taste receptors can distinguish five distinct categories. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami, otherwise known as savory. Components like sugar, salt, and MSG give foods their signature sweet, salty, or savory flavor. So why do we have a sense of taste at all? Well, sweet, salty, and savory taste receptors develop to allow humans to identify foods with carbohydrates, proteins, and other essential minerals and nutrients. Advances in biotechnology are changing the way scientists understand taste and identify flavor enhancers and flavor blockers. Researchers now use human taste receptors to automatically analyze numerous compounds and the reaction of taste receptors to these compounds. One goal of biotech research is to identify compounds that enhance the sweet, salty, or savory taste of foods. What is the purpose of this? Well, we could produce food with less sugar, salt, or MSG without sacrificing any of the pleasing taste of the food. The end result? Food that's healthier, but tastes identical to its less healthy counterpart. Researchers are using this technology to amplify what nature has given us. For example, Paraguayans have been using the native stevia plant to sweeten their food for over two centuries. But the downside of this naturally occurring, calorie-free sweetener is its bitter aftertaste. So scientists examined the plant's nine sweetness-producing components and isolated one to create the naturally-derived sweetener, Rebiana, also known as Truvia. This natural biotech sweetener gives people an alternative to artificial no-calorie sweeteners like aspartame and saccharin. Another development in the field are flavor blockers. Adenosine monophosphate, or AMP, is a compound currently in development that blocks bitter tastes. Additionally, bitter blockers could downplay the strong bitter flavor of broccoli greens, and other healthful foods that many people avoid because of their bitterness. Perhaps more importantly, bitter blockers could be used to eliminate the bitter taste that stops many people from correctly taking their medicines. This is especially important with children's medication because taste alone can be enough for a child to have a physical inability to consume a medicine. Blocking the bitter taste of these products could increase patient compliance with prescriptions and even allow entirely new medicines to be offered to people of all ages. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.